I, cause I just want to ask this question, like, so, cause I, I think all of y'all, uh, JP and, and AJ, y'all are on to something good here in terms of like where this could have started, but we know that over this all season and including the draft, like they were just stockpiling guys at offensive offensive line. I always had some. I always felt it had something to do with just being being prepared in case people come down to injury, especially like Morgan Moses. That was my initial hunch was like maybe it had something to do with just being prepared in case somebody gets hurt. Um, but like they were stockpiling guys in free agency and during the draft. I, I just want to know, like in your hunch, because nobody actually has anything for sure right now. But where could this have like kind of turned left to the point where they're going to allow the trade? Is it simply over the money or is it like a, a lot to do with a few things? Like, is that is that is that where y'all at with this? Maybe I'm being skeptical. I don't think it's going to be a trade. I think it's going to be released. Like, if, 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 to me, once the I would say this on the podcast, like, if you go to a player to talk about a pay cut, you have to be ready to release that player because the player is probably going to say F you and then you got no choice, right? You have no recourse. Sometimes a player will take a pay cut. That's because they know there's no other job for them. Like, if this news is coming out now that Morgan's available, why wouldn't another team just wait? And if it's, you know, he's available or they're, they're going to cut him, just wait until they cut him. Now, that said, if some team values Morgan on this contract, and having two years left at, you know, call it eight mil per, maybe that team to not have to sign him as a free agent and to not have to compete with other clubs would would send a fifth over, right? I don't know, a fourth. But Morgan's got to be on board with that too. Because he's if, if he might want a new contract here, he might want a new contract somewhere else. So I, I just... NFL trades are so bizarre. Like the market never matches up to what you think is the value of a player. Nothing more exemplifies that than Trent Williams being traded for a third and fifth, and then a year later signing, you know, one of the wildest, one of the richest tackle contracts in history. <laughs> so, it, like, it, and we can easily, you know, just pile on Bruce for that. It was a massive mistake. He was a terrible GM, but like, it still happened. Yeah. And that was the best they could do. It was not like they were only taking one call. Like they were calling everybody who wants this guy. We're getting rid of him. So um, Morgan, I think, would have more value than like people talk about trying to trade Sheriff or before Kerrigan signed with the Eagles. People were like, why couldn't you trade him? Like Morgan has two years left. So I, I don't think maybe maybe he'll be traded, but. If I was a team, unless I had, I'm sorry, that was my allergy just killing me. Um, if I was a team, 